most people when they come into their weight loss journey are coming from a position of unhappiness you know they're unhappy with how they look they're unhappy with you know the love handles they're unhappy with jiggly thighs you know they're unhappy with how they look in the mirror they're just generally disgusted with how they look and they want to improve from there now the problem with this mind frame is you're coming from a position of you're not good enough you're coming from a position of running away from how you think you are um, or how you feel that you are you're coming from a position of self-hate now I've talked about self-hate before but the issue with self-hate is that when you're coming from a place of self-hate a you're running away you, these feelings you have about yourself don't actually have to do with how you look you think they are you think if you got to a certain body fat percentage or if you got to a certain clothing size you're going to feel happy about yourself but it comes from something deeper than that and when you come from this position of self-hate you need to dig deeper and and find out why you hate yourself because when you do lose weight it's never ever going to be enough you're never ever going to be happy with how much weight you lose and that's how anorexia occurs or bigorexia occurs in the in males who aren't and never big enough you know never muscular enough but number two is because when you come from this position of self-hate you you forever reinforce this idea that you aren't enough as you are and I know it's easy to say I mean, it's, it's easy for fit people to say hey you're enough as you are and and they're like Ging up this six pack and you know look amazing and have all these friends and you know are so successful yeah you're enough as you are look I think I'm enough as I am Ugh, six pack but there is as corny as it is there is truth to it you instead of if you are coming from this place of self-hate you are forever re, every change that you make reinforces that core belief that you hate yourself reinforces that core belief that you are not enough you're forever running from this core belief of who you think you are I just need to need to escape it I need to lose some weight I'll feel better but every time you lose weight you, you're coming from this position that you're not enough still no matter how much weight you lose you still feel like you're not enough and you will probably and this is why so many people yo-yo diet you truly feel like you are this ugly person this fat person this unhappy person deep down no matter how far you escape that it's like a rubber band you're gonna come back you're gonna come all the way back around to who you truly think you are deep down so self-hate never ever works long term even if you do make progress you're unhappy with it you're never satisfied with it and that's why you need to come from uh, self-love as a motivator and this is a lot easier said than done especially if for your entire life you've hated yourself and this isn't a bad thing this isn't uh this doesn't mean you're weak this, this doesn't mean you're stupid this is what you've been taught from the media from friends and family who made comments about your weight or how you look from yeah, from fitness models and instagram and social media that gives this appearance of how perfect certain people look people who use airbrushing people who uh, use uh, steroids and enhancements people who use illegal substances to lean up to get to a certain leanness um, so coming from a position of self-love you need to and this is very difficult to do and it's something I work with every day on myself you need to understand that you are underneath if you are overweight underneath the body fat there is a healthy person underneath and you just need to strip away strip away the stuff that has overcome you over the years think of yourself as a statue you know the there's a uh, this saying I forget whoever did the statue of David probably Michael I don't even know um, they said Oh, how does it how someone asked him how does it feel to have uh, produced a statue and he said look David was in that rock 
from the get-go. I just removed the layers around to get this beautiful statue out of there. That is you. You are surrounded by these layers of self-consciousness, these layers of uh, feelings that have been taught to you of unworthiness and not un undeservedness. And you just need to peel away those layers. Those layers aren't you. Those layers have been conditioned. Underneath, you are a healthy person. Underneath, you have, you have the potential to succeed. Underneath, you do deserve happiness. You just have to peel those layers away. And that's where you're coming from self-love. You know, deep down, you are this healthy person. So when you come from that position, it becomes a lot easier to feed yourself and fuel yourself with healthy foods. It becomes a lot easier to do exercise because you know you're gonna bring this person out from underneath. You know you deserve it and you automatically undertake behaviors to bring that person out. It becomes a lot easier to do these healthy behaviors like eating healthy foods and living a balanced lifestyle and exercising uh, just because it's bringing you out of your shell, it's bringing the real you out. So always come from a position of self-love, not self-hate.